Hello and a very warm welcome to the students of class 9. Today I would like to discuss a poem from an English textbook Beehive. The poem is titled Rain on the Roof and is written by the American poet Coat Skinny. What comes to your mind when we talk about rain and what is it about the rains you love the most? I am sure most of us love the smell of fresh earth, the cool weather, the greenery and of course the peter patter sound of the rain. When the sky is covered with dark clouds and it starts raining everybody feels thrilled isn't it The best part is playing in the rain and we all love getting wet in the rain What do you like to do when it is raining One wishes to lie on a cozy bed in their homes and it is most joyful to listen to the music of the pattering sound of the rain drops on the roof In this poem the poet expresses his love for nature and its beauty Through this poem the poet Kotskini praises nature and reveals its healing power The title of the poem Rain on the Roof suggests that the poem is about rain There is a lovely description of the rain The poet has beautifully depicted his feelings in the poem He tries to describe how he feels on a rainy day The poem tells us about the poet's sweet memories of childhood At night when the dark clouds cover the sky and it rains gently the poet lies on his cozy bed listening to the sound of the gentle rain drops on the rooftop of his house now about the poet coat skinny was an american poet born on 24th november 1826 in new york besides a poet he was a lawyer politician and a journalist his works include lyrics of the ideal and the real written in 1888 mists of fire a trilogy of some eclogues written in 1899 and the poem rain on the roof which was set to music was the most popular he died in ohio in 1904 now let's read and enjoy the poem when the human shadows hover over all the starry spheres and the melancholy darkness gently weeps in rainy tears what a bliss to press the pillow of a cottage chamber bed and lie listening to the patter of the soft rain overhead every tinkle on the shingles has an echo in the heart and a thousand dreamy fancies into busy being start and a thousand recollections weave their air threads into woof as i listen to the patter of the rain upon the roof now when memory comes my mother as she used in years agone to regard the darling dreamers ere she left them till the dawn oh I feel her fond look on me as I listen to this refrain which is played upon the shingles by the patter of the rain. Now let us read the stanzas one at a time and try to understand the underlying meaning of each stanza. Here goes the first stanza. When the humid shadows hover over all the starry spheres and the melancholy darkness gently weeps in rainy tears. Here humid shadows in the first line actually stand for the dark rain clouds full of water or moisture and they hover hover meaning these clouds remain in one place in the air or they hang around in the air over all the starry spheres here the starry spheres refer to the stars in the sky which are now hidden by the dark rain clouds melancholy means sadness there is a sad darkness around and the darkness makes the poet sad and thoughtful the rain also seems to reflect what he feels the rain falling from the sky looks like tears falling from the human eyes what a bliss to press the pillow of a cottage chamber bed and lie listening to the patter of the soft rain overhead here bliss means joy cottage chamber bed is a bedroom of the poet patter is a sound made by the rain as it falls on the roof of the house the poet says that at this point the only thing that brings joy to him is to curl up with a pillow in the bed of his bedroom he feels happy as he lies on his bed with his head resting on the pillow and he listens to the pitter patter sound of the rain falling on the roof of his house moving on to the second stanza Every tinkle on the shingles has an echo in the heart and a thousand dreamy fancies into busy being start and a thousand recollections weave their air threads into woof 
as i listen to the patter of the rain upon the roof here on the first line tinkle means a short ringing sound it is a sound word every tinkle means the sound of every drop of rain water falling on the rooftop shingles are the rectangular wooden tiles used on roofs echo is a repeated sound dreamy fancies are the fanciful imaginations which come to the poet's mind recollections are the memories of the poet woof are the threads woven across the loom as you can see in the picture on the right side of your screen in this stanza the poet says every tinkle that is every drop of rain water falling on the rooftop resounds or echoes in the poet's heart and a thousand dreamy fancies refer to the thousands of memories that come to the poet's mind whenever it rains he recalls his past memories and these memories weave like air threads which of course are imaginary and not real here into busy being in the fourth line refers to the poet himself he says that as he listens to the pattering sound of the rain all the recollections and sweet memories come rushing to his mind coming to the final stanza now in memory comes my mother as she used in years agone to regard the darling dreamers ere she left them till the dawn oh i feel her fond look on me as i list to this refrain which is played upon the shingles by the patter of the rain in the third and final stanza the poet becomes nostalgic and emotional he remembers his mother who is no more the memory of his mother haunts him he recalls how in his childhood many years ago his mother used to look at him and his siblings as they were sleeping and having pleasant dreams here a gone means past er means before darling dreamers are the poet and his siblings dawn is daybreak or early morning and refrain is a repeated part of a poem or a song in this stanza the poet and his siblings are called darling dreamers as they were very dear to their mother the refrain which is a repeated part of a song or poem is actually the sound of the rain the poet says that his mother would make it a point to look at the poet and his siblings every night for she knew she would not see them again till the next day morning what the poet remembers more than anything else is how his mother would bend down and watch him in particular such sweet memories are evoked as he listens to the repetitive rhythm or refrain of the raindrops as they fall on his roof a rhyme scheme is a pattern of rhymes at the end of each line of the poem it is usually referred to by using letters a b c and so on to indicate which lines rhyme the rhyme scheme of this poem is a b c b d e f e literary devices are techniques that writers use to express their ideas and enhance their writings the examples of literary devices used in this poem are number 1 alliteration which is the repetition of a consonant sound in two or more consecutive words in other words the occurrence of the same consonant letter or sound at the beginning of adjacent or closely connected words is called alliteration examples when the humid shadows hover h sound is repeated over all the starry spheres s sound is repeated water bliss to press the pillow p sound is repeated and lie listening to the patter l sound is repeated into busy being start b sound is repeated weave their air threads into woof the sound is repeated of the rain upon the roof r sound is repeated now in memory comes my mother m sound is repeated to regard the darling dreamers d sound is repeated the second literary device used is onomatopoeia the use of sound words to create a dramatic effect in auditory imagery tinkle and patter are the sounds made by raindrops and are examples of this literary device number 3 is personification that is treating a non living thing as a living being in other words giving human qualities to a non living thing examples and the melancholy darkness gently weeps in rainy tears darkness has been personified when the poet says that it is sad and a thousand recollections weave their air threads into woof recollections have been personified as if it is weaving transferred epithet 
which is the use of an adjective with a noun when it refers to another noun in melancholy darkness the darkness is not melancholy here but it refers to the sad people recollection is personified when the poet says that they weave dreams dreamy fancies it does not mean that the fancies are dreamy but it refers to the people who have dreams finally i have a few questions which i would like you to answer question number 1 what is the poet like to do when it rains question number 2 what is a single major memory that comes to the poet who are the darling dreamers he refers to and question number 3 is the poet now a child is his mother still alive with this we come to the end of the video thank you and god bless